So you might be trying to figure out how you can add apps within Android Auto. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application right into here and you want to go inside of Android Auto. So what I do is I just click on the search bar up there and I literally just type in auto just like this. Now you'll find Android Auto right in the settings right over here. So I just tap into that and then you'll come into this next page. Now what you're going to want to do here, there's a lot of stuff that you can basically see. There's customized launcher, all this stuff. What we want to do is right at the very top, we want to go and click on Customize Launcher. And it says right here, choose which apps show on Android Auto and so many other things here. What we want to do is we want to tap into that and this next page is going to come up. So this is where we can basically choose which particular applications we want on Android Auto as well as, but not limited to, the order of which the applications are there. So what we can do is we can scroll through here and whichever applications on your phone are applicable with Android Auto, they will show up right here. So not every application can be added, keep that in mind. Some applications you know, are not gonna show it to you. But in this case, most of these applications will be able to do that. And that's really all you're going to have to do here. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and basically tap on a particular application. So let's say I don't want this customized option or I don't want YouTube Music. I can just tap into the check mark next to YouTube Music. And that's going to go, become, you know, go in the hidden mode. I can swipe back up and I can see that YouTube Music app right there. And then I can go and add it back if I want to. I can delete it, I can remove it. You can really do a lot of stuff here. So that's basically that. You can also add a shortcut at the very top too. So if you want, you can have a call contact. You can do an assist, Google Assistant action as well. So that's basically how you can do it. It's a very basic process and it really does not take too much time at all. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.